let us see the summary of the story should wizard hit mommy by john updike jack the protagonist of the story would tell his daughter john a story every day at bed time and on saturday afternoons to get her to sleep these stories used to be created instantly in his mind and would always follow a similar plot there would be an animal named roger who would go to the wise owl with a unique problem the wise owl would direct roger to a wizard for a solution the wizard would solve the problem and would ask roger for more money than he had he would also tell roger where to find the extra money roger would find it pay the wizard and run off to play with his friends afterwards roger would go home and have dinner with his parents jack would describe this dinner and the story would be over of late jack had begun to find these storytelling sessions tiring especially on saturdays john or joe never fell asleep anymore one saturday jack started to tell joe the story of roger skunk who smelled so bad that the other animals made fun of him and refused to play with him jack drew on his own childhood memories to detail how the others made fun of roger skunk he believed that his daughter should be aware of the realities of the world and was pleased to see that this detail had the impact he desired jack then continued with his usual storyline roger skunk went to the owl and the wizard the wizard changed roger's smell to that of roses and roger played happily with all the other animals Joe interrupted the narration several times. Once she asked if magic was real. Jack assured her that it was real in stories, noting mentally that Joe was in a new phase, one of questioning what was real. Intermittently, Jack could hear his pregnant wife Claire shifting furniture downstairs and felt that he should hurry downstairs to help her. He was not happy with her doing heavy work even though she was pregnant. As he reached the end of the story, Jack noticed that Joe's attention had started to wander. He didn't like it when women did not listen attentively to him and decided to change the ending of the story. He told Joe how when Roger Skunk reached home, his mother was very unhappy that he smelled of roses. She said that he didn't smell like himself, so she wanted the wizard to change the smell back. This shift in the story troubled Joe because she remembered how the other animals had treated the smelly skunk. Despite Joe's objections, Jack related how the mother skunk hit the wizard on his head and got him to change the skunk's smell back. Joe was displeased and wanted the wizard to hit the mother skunk on the head and refused to change the smell. However, Jack ignored her and ended the story as usual. The Skunk family had dinner together and at night Roger Skunk's mother hugged him telling him that he smelled just like a skunk should and that she loved him. The other animals eventually accepted Roger Skunk just as he was. Unhappy with the new ending, Joe called the mother skunk stupid. Jack emphatically defended that the mother skunk almost as if he was defending his own mother. Joe then asks Jack to tell her the same story the next day but with the ending she wanted. She insisted on this till Jack left the room. When Jack finally went downstairs, his wife was painting a chair. Around them, half of the woodwork was in one color and the other half was in another color. As he stood there, Jack felt caught as if in a cage. He realized that his wife was in the cage with him too. but he just wanted to stay away from her thank you